Welcome back to Barricade Rides. Barricade here. And Batsy. We have a great video for you. We are at Recycled Biker Stuff in Arlington, Washington. They sell new and used biker gear, parts, and apparel. They also have vintage apparel as well. And they do consignments. Which is awesome. So come with us, check it out, and we're going to interview the owner and show you a bunch of the cool stuff they have in stock. And I'm on the quest for a new jacket. Recycled biker stuff. We're with the owner Lisa. So Lisa, how, how did you get started doing this? So my sister created this business in 2011, oh. and she was part of the biker community. So this store is a consignment store. Okay. And it's a nonprofit, which proceeds go to charity. Therefore, our charity is with Baca, which we'll explain Baca later. I get started. So your sister started this place in 2000? 2011. 2011, so this has been in operation for nine years already. Moved, moved to this location in 2013. 2013. And uh, yes, yeah, she was a part of the biker community. There's a lot of biker community in this, in this location of Washington. Um, as well as all over, but we have a really tight-knit community here. That is true. And uh, she passed away in 2014, and that's how I became involved in this store. Um, I got to know everybody around here, because I don't live in the area, mm. but we grew real close with a lot of the community members, yeah. and we get a lot of people coming in here regularly on a weekly basis. Um, and all the money anybody spends here, all the proceeds. The profit. The proceeds go to our charity, Baca. Okay. And you know, so what kind of items do you sell in the store? And you do consignments, which is great. So that means the customers bring their products in. They bring their personal items in. Yes. Yeah. Th and she sells them. So we for split the sale price 50 50. 50 50. For the s we get 50, and the consignors get 50. We sell everything that has to do with street biking, um, whether it's Harley or Honda or anything, but a lot of the stuff pertains to Harley that there as happens to be in the store. Uh, we've got apparel, everything from chaps to pants to leather vests, shirts, jackets, both leather and textile versions mm -hmm. of sorts. And we got parts, um, which those will be parts that has pertains to all makes and models yeah. and our because we're consignment all our inventory is completely random we get people in here regular customers in here on a weekly basis <laughs> and I, I've noticed that we've had maybe 10 customers come in and eight of them you knew their names yeah, yeah. and they come in on a regular basis just to check to see what is here what new consignors right. may, may have bought because Good items go real fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then also we have like novelty items. I've um, noticed that. Sunglasses, uh, you know, plates. Uh, this collage right here is pretty dope. Yeah, somebody made that. Uh, one of our past employees had that up here. And it, it is pretty detailed. Yeah, it, 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 it fits it quite is, nicely. It is. It's <laughs> kind of cool when you look at it. I've noticed one of my yeah. favorite things that I've seen in here are the vintage Harley shirts. Yeah. I've seen in places that, that things are really expensive just because they're vintage. Yes. Lisa sells everything at a thrift store price, and anybody can afford a lot of the products that she sells here. Even I can. <laughs> yeah, we, we sell at a thrift store price considering they're Harley Davidson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's definitely yeah. a competitive price. An $85 shirt can be sold here for like 20 uh, 25. Um, yeah, and I, think even, deals. I think even Goodwill and Valley Village would sell stuff for even more than what it sells. Even they are overpriced. What, what is Baca? And 
Baca. Baca is our local charity. They are all over the world, but they are Baca stands for Bikers Against Child Abuse, and our, we support the uh, North Sound chapter. Um, the, but they are all over the state, all over the country, all over the world, actually. So you can Google them up. They're an amazing group of people. I've um, seen them on Facebook. I've seen them out in town riding. You see people with their vests with the Baca cut. Looks cool and everything. Yeah, if you yeah. if you uh, look them up online, they're amazing. They yeah. Are, so they are a group of people, of bikers that empower children who are abused and that are facing, uh, having to face their predators during court and, yeah. and so forth, and just even within their household. So the predators that are trying to intimidate them and scare them, these guys give them power. Yeah. They, nice. they will park up on their, their lawns if they need to, and they make those kids a part of their family. They give them best. It's just a really, really awesome group of people. Yeah. There's nothing. Amazing. Bikers can be very intimidating, and what I love about what Baca does, it gives the kids some confidence that they're going to be okay and they're going to be safe because they got right. this big bearded biker with this really loud Harley, all this power that just is there for them to help them feel safe. So yeah, and they will have they will be designated to that child as a, as their family. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're always with them for the rest of their lives if they choose to. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, how can the average biker help you okay. or help your mission? Okay. The average biker can help the mission obviously by shopping here. Um, we get constantly changing inventory, so their purchases help donate to Baca. Um, and all the consignments that come in here are catered to the average biker, so uh, really, we're here to help the biker. <laughs> we want to help the average biker. So, the circle of it's life. The circle of biker life, yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, so, there's, so I've walked through this store. We got some B roll of all, some of the stuff they have. They have some incredible things here. Right. Like a lot of people are consigners on the bike parts will be they're bringing parts in because they s slid the bike or something and so they want to replace their parts and we'll get both sides and so somebody else who slid on the other side of their bike will have the good side and you never know what you're going to find here but minor minor injuries the bike might have taken on. We have lots of replacement parts. Um, hopefully everybody's safe right in their yes. bikes out on the road. Uh, but yeah, we will have an unknown, unknown amount of things you could find. We just have like that small item that you just never thought you were going to find. Yeah. And, and we just happened to have it because somebody brought it in. And it's, yeah, and the inventory is constantly changing. Yeah, and did you just find a part that you were looking for? Yeah. I've so, I'm about to do a video on installing a USB ch so I could charge my phone while riding. Turns out I don't have the piece that connects to the battery. And I found it here for an incredible price. They had exactly what I need. And I think we dug through bins for two minutes before it popped up. Like between two and ten, and then all of a sudden, boom, there it was. <laughs> <laughs> and you all know that Batsy here, he's just starting riding. He's already found a leather jacket he's getting. Uh, he's deciding between three vests, two yeah, vests. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's so many good things here. Um, so you got social media. You got Facebook, so yeah, everybody Facebook. can follow you on Facebook. And are they able to message you to see if you have parts in? Yeah, messaging on Facebook is a great thing. Um, our store phone uh, that we have listed, that is also... A, a messaging acceptance. It's a cell phone. So, so that will be down below in the description. So I'll I'll add their phone number, the link to their Facebook profile, yeah. and no Instagram or anything else. We we have some Instagram started. Okay. Um, that's my 
my daughter's my secretary on all <laughs> technical <Yeah>. support. <laughs> so <laughs> shout out to her daughter for yeah, handling the social media. Yeah, she's got That's that a tough going. job out there. <laughs> yeah. So is there anything else you want the community to know about recycled biker stuff? Oh, by the way, I absolutely love that name, Recycled Biker Stuff. It just kind of called me. <laughs> we re recycle biker stuff. We don't recycle bikers. <laughs> <laughs> so if you need anything, whether it's apparel, safety gear, motorcycle parts, final tires, frames, all kinds of If you're just starting a project or if you're finishing a project or trying to come up with something to get started, definitely come here and check it out. The store is amazing. Right, right. So thank you for tuning in. Please like this video, comment, ask us some questions. Let's get some business in here. And subscribe to Barricade Rides. And as always, stay safe, brothers and sisters, and ride your ride.